we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. With a thousand wood right. Imagine if they go the solve. Would be interesting, wouldn't it? Five org. I think this is better, even with um how we have it set up now. Large scale exercises. Um So we can combine all the buffs into one idea, which is kind of neat, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Um, we could also, uh, what do we, we could use the research slot, honestly. Although these buffs are going to be good, so I think we'll get working down these for now. Lessons from the Siberian Ice March. We suffered significant damage during the retreat during the icebound vast expanses of Siberia during the Civil War, and never recovered from this. We entered it unprecedented, but now we know what it looks like when a human soul decides to take st to step into such an environment that is just waiting to take another life. We will invite March veterans and war theorists who will know how we can adapt to the Siberian conditions, which will one day be of great help. Isn't it meta rush research slots? Maybe. You know me, I don't I don't understand the meta. There's Dougie. We'll get support weapons. Honestly, these guys... ...are not doing well even remotely, while we, I think... We're losing our stab, of course. But but generally thinking, um, we have a pretty good army set up. So it also almost makes me think we'll get working on the offensive line now. But it almost makes me think that if we finish up our armies tree. Yeah, they have a bit bigger of an army, but I think ours is just outright better. So we get buffs. Uh, whatever uh, these buffs will entail, we'll be fine. Let's start with Centralized Army Command. Factionalization within any command, political or military, leads to many problems that we will not be able to solve in time and will bring us to our knees exactly when we least need it. So our enemies who share, or have to share the same view, in a way of fighting wars to take a, con to take a convincing victory against us. By creating a single military command, an army will be able to more easily coordinate the actions of our troops and more easily determine what and how we will do it. This will prevent divisions within the army and ensure safe and steady progress in our goals. Excellent. Ooh. Following the initial success, it's first opening level. So Michele has been opening new locations across the capital. Smaller towns across the Republic gradually grow amidst the years of government neglect. But demand for the same amenities of capital have only grown in scale. Looking to expand into this new market? Michele Burgers and Fries is... Announced its first out of city location in Kabarovsk and Yakutsk and other settlements. This move is projected to bring new jobs of struggling states in Siberia and further export the greatest benefits of that Western capitalism has to offer hamburgers for the rich and the poor. Oh, capitalism. You gotta love it. Unless you're unless you're these guys, which we'll deal with in time, although I don't know if you can really call him anti-capitalist. You called it? They want the so Oh no, they start the solve. Uh They start the solve and then they have to go down all of this, I think. In order to uh 
decide whether they stick with him or not. Just assume that they chose with Sov. There might be a pre-game. Or like a early game thing that decides that. Um, but to my understanding... It looks like uh, supply issues over here. Um, so I better fix that real quick. Let's start a supply node then. Do, does that work? Been working on that as soon as we can. Have it done in April. And we'll have this next focus done whenever. We finish it. And that focus will be uh, living off the land. What every soldier must learn in such conditions is the following. You can never know when and where you will find yourself in every coming conflict. Whether you're finding yourself in a mountain hinterland, icy tundra, icy desert, tundra, or sea coast. An ocean without any basic necessities. What you'll need at that point is an experience of coping in impossible situations like those to get food, water, in case you can't find it, to focus on escaping such a situation, and finding other divisions, or the first place from where you will continue your path to salvation. If you master the technique of living from the earth, you'll soon be able to oppose everything that will be in front of you. I can get behind that. Ooh, extra recon. We'll click on the truck. I think that's supposed to help with stuff. Oh, we have a supply deficit with these guys. That's a kind of a big problem that we got. I think our army is better in theory, but they don't have the supplies to really prove that. So, yeah, um, a little rough. Hmm. Might as well work on this last one. Modern Recon Brigades. Scouting is the key before any... Every battle, that opens the locked door of victory. Our scouts were good, but as time went on, their experience and equipment were outdated for all the troubles that can fall us. We redirect our forces and focus on modernizing the reconnaissance brigades. We were able to find ourselves behind enemy backs without any problem to attack them strongly. Suddenly, when they do not expect it, and defeat them so strongly that it will never occur to them to oppose us. Gotta love it. Unless you don't have to love it. I don't, I don't know. Let's get the new fighters going. Actually, I guess I'll wait for the um, eight days to tick over. Might as well trade with uh, Malaysia. Ooh. Hmm. Some close air support going. I 
How's that going for you, China? Not the best. Hmm, what do we want to work on next? Maybe the next gen of rifles. That'd be cool. Uh, we can get working on more anti-tank, so more support equipment. <sighs> if only we had the equipment to f have all these guys set up. Which, speaking of equipment... I mean, that's better. But... I don't really have anything we need. We might as well work on um, new airfields. As our government moves towards a state of war, we must prepare ourselves. So this new war is fought in the air as much as on the ground. Therefore, we must spend time in, in the capital to develop our air force and its airfields. Production... Chinese-American Cold War. I mean, you don't like to see it. I was going to work on some of the infrastructure over here. Get to at least five. Build new airfields. Um. I think I'll save just in case. Let me see, how are they really doing there? I mean, they're only really going to get stronger at this point. I'll drop these four. You know, we really might as well just go ahead do reverse Red October. The time has come. We move to reverse the damage done during the October Revolution. Repair what is left of our country, destroyed by the faulty lies of Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks and the Communists. Fair enough. Synthetic oil experiments are done. Next we'll do... From... New tanks, I guess. And our supply in that region really didn't get that much better. Um, okay, I guess real quick, railway... We still got time to do that. I am not sweating. Not sweating it. Essentially, Gotland International. I really want to think what it took to do all that. Serbia is making a comeback, it seems. Going after the social democratic dictatorship. Um, yeah, let them push into us for now. Mm -hmm. Really want to give us mm -hmm. stuff. 
Please give me stuff. I love free stuff. I desperately need your free stuff. What the f where the fuck did you get? Why aren't you all the way back there, bud? What a what is going on? Why am I getting all these free fucking human? Oh, those affections? You get to say something about yeah, mass affections. Shit. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's do March of Teacher, or Status of Education. State, state of Education Russia's poor. Collapse of a state of progress land in Solomon towards total literacy, which we must admit was quite good, effectively ceased to exist. Educational institutions effectively ceased to exist, and we do not act quickly. There will be a generation of people growing up without proper education. Our government will be taking action, ensuring that the people of our nation get the education they deserve. Um, it says we're good to... Well, I seriously doubt we're good to push if they keep doing stuff like that. Um, so we're just a back and forth a little bit. Well, let's try pushing. See if we have any luck. Which so far, okay in the north. Quality of the education in Russia has been on the decline ever since the Great Patriotic War shattered the once great nation. Fed up with increasing issues of rising illiteracy and outdated faculties, teachers from across Russia have gathered levels stoke for mass demonstration demanding the Sorokin government increase wages for public educators across the edu education sector and funding for public schools. While well, demonstration was peaceful and everyone died down as a day end, it would appear that everyone across the country agreed with the protesters and that the government must act decisively so as to prevent Russia from falling behind the rest of the world. Education is all right. It's time we deliver. All right, learning is a lot right. No one should be denied education. It's a right which we must enshrine, just as equally as freedom, speech, and freedom of religion. To learn, after all, is a necessity. Without it, no one cannot contribute to society. Education is a sacred right. We must ensure that such a thing is recognized by the Russian state. Well... You do that. You keep fo pushing forward, Mr. Tank. Hmm. The expression of minorities on the upswing, the issue of language has come to light, as it did during the early Soviet period. This time, the matter of linguistics and orthod graphic reform has sprung up, and none other than the coal mining government of Yakutia, or indigenous Yakut leaders, have entertained the idea of a new non cyrillic script, particularly Semen Nogoruup's plan of the international, based on the international phonetic alphabet. Yakutian intellectuals are not united, however, and some are more, more pan turkey inclinations have suggested this alphabet, similar to the proposed Latin-based Yanilev's alphabet, for the Tatar language. Whatever the script, however, both sides agree, the Yakut people, non-Russians with in Russia as a whole, deserve the right to their own scripts. Um, you know, Yanilov will connect them to their Turkish brethren, and by proxy, us. So uh, we'll go with that. Could order convoys from Japan, which I'll try. Oh, cool. I'll go for a little longer in this part. Why not? Oh, 
Oh, I just noticed we have no stability. Well, that's not cool. Need more artillery for Shizzle. So as we're still pushing well, I don't know if I believe that. Um, you stay there. And then I think what I want with you guys is to uh, encircle them. There we go. Got two encircled. That makes me think, if the lake is there, will they be able to uh, get out? I don't think they will. So we lost one. We, we took out one there. Excellent. We can drop. I don't want those guys. No. Um. This will give us a stat, which we kind of need. So let's invest in universities. Following a student-led leaving gymnasium, they should, in typical circumstance, go on to university. Unfortunately, the majority of universities in the Far East are decrepit and in decay. Therefore, many do not see a reason to attend. We must create higher education that is a fitting caliber, thus allowing people to move up to the highest levels of society. Okay, yeah, we can't cross that river, which is okay, honestly. Um... I'm not sweating that too much. Warranty tank, more support equipment. So if we can encircle that one guy, uh, we can't. Although maybe we can go in. Oh well, he's sick. That's not cool. We'll surround them in Alma-Ata. Uh, I'm getting gas. There's no supply hub there. In fact, there's no supply anywhere in this region. Or no railroads at all, actually. That's weird. I don't understand that. Or know why they do that. So, I'll do it myself. Meet him in here. See if we can't pin him for now. Another encirclement. Invest in universities. Next, we'll do power to the innovators. You must not shun innovation. One can recall how men de Lev, after being refused entry to Moscow University, walked to Petrograd. We must be tolerant and open to new ideas and allow innovation to flourish in education and in the rest of life. Well, there we go. And meanwhile, we'll, we'll kill some Soviets. Which I always love to see. Um, I don't know what time killing these Soviets in particular, but... That'll help. I'll do... Flamethrowers? Why not? Let's get working on more rifles now. Large front operations. Um, let's get more war support. And... 
I might as well end the timer or end the video for the YouTube people here. So, thanks for watching as always, guys. My name is Mr. Dogwell333, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check the comment section, links down below, and uh, yeah, bye bye.